In the energy markets today, I want to focus on WTI crude. WTI crude under some further selling pressure today, down about 2% on the day. Uh, we see it right around the 52.50 level. Uh, we continue to see this downtrend really since the uh, spike after the attacks in Saudi Arabia. So, uh, WTI has been on a steady decline and pushing back down to the lower end of the range now. Now you have to go back to June and those August lows around $50.60. And we're creeping back down to these levels now with the, with the contract low today of 52.17. We had a couple of data points this morning, I think, that were key uh, in influencing the pricing structure. And one of them was the EIA number that came out and we saw a bigger build than that was expected, countering the API number yesterday, which we saw a draw. So the EIA number, I think, entered in the psychology in the market right now as we continue to see this global slowing story picking up steam and now it appears to be creeping onto the shores of the U.S. And I think all of those factors are playing into the psychology in the market and that's why we continue to see further selling pressure on the WTI space. And as, as far as um, the other numbers and other things that the market's gonna have to contend with this week, I think you gotta look at the economic structure, now the data points. I think tomorrow we have some service numbers coming out and after yesterday's very weak factory number, catching the market a little off guard. And as we saw the equity markets in the commodity space come under some significant selling pressure due to the expectation shift in the U.S. We're also going to get some numbers tomorrow when you look at the service sector, and that's a big part of the U.S. economic structure. So I think it's going to be very important that these numbers maintain the expectations. And when you look at the market, that's M-A-R-K-I-T, U.S. PMI number looking for 50.2. So anything below 50 would be contraction. So I think that's a big number. And then it's going to be followed by the ISM non-manufacturing number. And the expectations are for somewhere around the 55 levels. So any variation outside of those numbers, particularly lower, we could see further selling pressure in the commodity space, particularly the crude space. And we may retest those lows sooner rather than later around that 50, 60 level.